We're now joined by Mohamed Abdullahi, a public affairs analyst. Mohamed, good evening and welcome. Can you hear me, Mohamed? Yeah, uh, good evening. Yes, very good. Okay. Finally, we've had. Yes, uh, good evening. Good evening. Finally, we've had this declaration of Fintry as governor in Adamawa State. And um, we're wondering if you think that this is going to bring the needed peace uh, that, was, that was almost uh, eluding the state, you know, uh, a few hours ago because there were protests here and there and all that. So after this uh, declaration, do you think that peace will return to Adamawa State? Yes, uh, hopefully, um, we did think this should bring an end, I mean, the official declaration by INEC, because, you know, yesterday we have, a, or two days ago, we have an unofficial declaration by uh, the uh, resident electoral, uh, electoral commissioner uh, in Adama. So today, I mean, it's the official announcement by the person who is supposed to, I mean, the returning officer, who is charged with the responsibility of making such announcement that have officially announced that the candidate of the PDP has uh, officially won uh, the gubernatorial uh, elections in Adamawa. So hopefully this should bring to rest. I mean, this should bring peace. You know, like you rightly mentioned, protests have blocked in capital city, Yola, uh, uh, since two, three years ago. I mean, since even the supplementary election on Saturday. So I think this official declaration for all who I love peace, I mean, in that state, and who want peace to reign, and who want, um, I mean, democracy to continue to thrive in that state. I think this is the this is the right time for all to shed their sword and then embrace peace. And perhaps, uh, if there is anyone who feel, I mean, any of the candidates who feel he or she needed to challenge the, 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 the result, we know the official language in, in, in Nigeria at the moment is, please go to court. People in INEC, the umpire of this election, because even now that Fintory has been declared, uh, INEC's image is not that good in the Nigerian society nowadays. Do you think this is uh, one of the things that will restore the confidence of the people in INEC, or they still have a long way to go? You know, it's a two way team. Um, I mean, for members of the PDP at the moment, yes, they will tell you, I am sure, uh, as they are rejoicing that um, the party has won, I mean, the gubernatorial uh, elections in uh, Adamawa, they will be rejoicing that, uh, yes, INEC has done the right thing. I mean, in trying to uh, forego the unofficial announcement two days ago and then continuing, taking the appropriate step, uh, sanctioning, I mean, the, the rec. Uh, recommending the IG to also uh, prosecute the rec, and now continuing with the election, and finally announcing the member of the, I mean, Governor Fintiri as the rightful winner of the election. Yes, for PDP members, I am sure they will be happy. They will be praising INEC. But you know, uh, if I'm not mentioning word, I know um, the opposition party, particularly the, 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 I mean, the APC in Adamawa, led by. Uh, Senator Aisha Binani, I am sure they will also have a, a, a ground to say INEC has been unjust. So like, like I mentioned earlier, it's a two-way thing. For one party, is a team of joy, it's time for merriment, and it's time for the celebration. And for another party, uh, definitely, I am sure, uh, they will be preparing their books now. In fact, not even preparing. I, I read in the papers, in the media uh, today or yesterday that uh, the, the Senator Aisha Binani actually uh, went to the High Court in Abuja to say uh, it's not possible for INEC, according to the rule, to have made an announcement and then go back on it and uh, uh, stop its own announcement. So, like, like I rightly mentioned, it's a two-way street. It's a two-way thing. For one party, it's time for celebration, and for another party, uh, they might be holding INEC uh, culpable or responsible for their loss. They rate the performance of INEC in this election, the rerun ele election, Sorry, I didn't get that. How would you personally rate the performance of INEC in these rerun elections? Yes, it's, it's very dicey. That's a very dicey question because um, even though I wouldn't want to blame INEC for the initial uh, unofficial announcement, uh, you know, 
Uh, but again, I think it's, it's very important that all in charge, the security, INEC itself, and all those in charge of our elections leave up to uh, of their or leave up to uh, up to their responsibility, because um, it's very it was very unfortunate that the resident electoral commissioner who wasn't in charge with the responsibility of making an announcement uh, made an announcement unofficial announcement yesterday or uh, two days ago on behalf of INEC, and then there are security men seated there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was the commissioner of police of Adamawa State. Whom uh, I just read, uh, the IG has redeployed. You know, so it, it is very important that uh, all those in charge the responsibility during our electionary period live to, uh, to their expectation. Uh, having said that, um, I think to, to to answer directly to your question, yes, um, uh, the the the, the rerun election in Adama, according to I wasn't in Adama, but according to media reports, what I've seen and what I've read, uh, in terms of the conduct, it was far better than the. Uh, uh, than the than the main general election, I mean that was held on the 18th of March. You know it was more peaceful. Uh, you know, INEC, um, INEC, uh, was the INEC staff and materials arrived uh, the venue for election on time, on like uh, uh, March 18th. And and, and 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 mind you, this is why I have been calling for the fact that you know I think INEC is not yet ready. It's my opinion, please. But I think INEC is not yet ready to conduct general elections all across the country on the same day. I, I, I keep having this feeling because, you know, when we have supplementary elections where elections are held in few polling units, I like to do better than when we have the general elections uh, have, uh, going on in the 774 local government all over Nigeria at the same time. So I, I, it, it's my own opinion, but I think if it, it would do nobody any harm if I like decided, I mean, probably in future, if the rule allows it, that when when we have a general election, probably state we should we should consider having elections at least in five states for for a week. We'll be able to cover all the 36 states and the and, and the federal capital territory. That will give INEC the much needed time, the much needed capacity to do better, rather than having elections all at the at the same time uh, in the 774 local government across Nigeria. This is my feeling. Just finally, um, some people are, are getting various opinions how uh, the wreck that made the announcement should have been treated. But uh, for now, we know that he has been suspended from activities of INEC, and some people say that is not enough. What is your own opinion? What do you think about the punishment so far given to the person who did the illegal act of announcing results? Yeah, I, I am not a lawyer, but uh, again, I think I will give kudos to INEC in handling the matter swiftly. You recall that in less than uh, 10, 20 minutes, when the illegal announcement was made on Sunday, uh, even though it was um, uh, uh, a, a weekend, INEC, I read less than 20 minutes to that announcement, I read on the official uh, verified Twitter page of, uh, of INEC, uh, that they they, they, they they have information of what is going on in Adamawa and they immediately suspended the collation and they immediately summoned also the REC and all other members of the INEC staff. I mean, the, the stakeholders of INEC in Adamawa to Abuja to come for a closed door meeting, which was held yesterday. And, you know, within two days, INEC have been able to resolve, I mean, based on the meeting that they, that, that they had yesterday, the closed door meeting, they were able to resolve that the... The resident electoral commissioner is is, uh, is suspended, and like I mentioned earlier, they advise or recommend that the inspector general of police should prosecute uh, uh, the rec uh, for the illegal activity he carried on. I mean, uh, uh, on Sunday. So I think I, I because if, if you remember, I don't think INEC. I mean, I don't think the leadership of INEC had the outright um, power to sack their their, their rec because I mean the recs were appointed by the president. So they've also made a, recommend, a recommendation to the Office of the Secretary General of the Federation to take appropriate action. So I think, uh, in my humble opinion, INEC have done the right thing uh, swiftly this time around. Very much, Mohammed Abdullahi, for being a part of our program this evening. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.